Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1502, recorded Wednesday, July 21st, 2015. This will only hurt a little. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audible.com slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick! This week on the Giz Whiz, we got robots, we got charging leashes, and we got multifunction tools. All coming up next! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and uh, OMG uh, uh, Chad uh, uh, on Twit uh, TV. Uh, 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 it's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs. Growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! I hope that you are ready for the fantastic show, The Giz Whiz, and here he is, The Giz himself, Dick DiBartolo. Chad, how are you doing, pal? I'm doing great. I'm doing really, really well. You know, you have to tell us, mm -hmm. uh, we, are, we are recording this at a very special time. Yeah. Uh, four in the morning mm -hmm. on a Wednesday. Yep. And why are we doing that? Uh, the studio, the Twist studio said that, that we smelled... I think was and so we we put in a time slot where we don't uh, uh, we don't mess it. with any of the other employees. Uh, got it. Yes. Okay. All right. That makes sense. All right. You right. know who else they did that with? Steve Jobs. Remember? Yeah, I know. Oh. Right. There's a trend. So we're geniuses. I we're all really cool. We are. We are geniuses. Yeah. Yep. The only thing. The only difference is about fifty billion dollars yeah. in income. <laughs> That's it. You know. Yeah. I mean, basically, if you think of Disney. And you think of that guy who makes paint on the street. I mean, I think there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of similarities between those two type of jobs. That's kind of what we're thinking about. Um, yeah. No, uh, we are recording at a weird time because I'm, I will be on a plane at uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to go oh to PAX word. South. And this is a plane in the Bay Area, and we live in north. So I'm going to have to wake up at like 3 a.m., or like 2.50 a.m. to get down to get my flight. Uh, so we're recording this uh, late on a Wednesday um, for, for, for you guys, which we Yeah, really yeah. Like. yeah. So, so, what, so what is the convention? So is this it is packing? It's, it is, yes. It's, it's about packing and packing material. It's called PAX. Nice. It's great. Nice. It's really good. Oh, Uline yeah. will be there. I mean, oh, go, really... you know, go to the, go to the bubble wrap pavilion. Oh, it's so great. Oh. It's so great. And, and wear very heavy shoes. Your badges, uh, they have little uh, knives on them so you can cut open boxes or box cutters. It's really great. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, yeah. that sounds great. No. <laughs> PAX is for Penny Arcade Expo and Penny Arcade, um, was a comic uh, that covered video game, um, like, you know, genre type stuff and uh, was great, huge, still is in the video game um, community. So uh, these guys who made this online comic created this um, convention and lots of video games, video game uh, enthusiasts and people dress up and basically it's a convention about video games. Oh, that's great. How did they ever come up with Penny Arcade, which is such a... Ancient mm -hmm, mm -hmm. name mm -hmm. to 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 attach to comics and I mean I don't I mean I think it was a throwback to, okay to you know okay. like a penny arcade was the oldest type of video game you know oh okay that makes sense that and, makes sense right right and so um, people say that about the Gizwiz that it's a throwback <laughs> it yeah. is a throwback. Or throw up. Throw I forget what they say, but I know the word throw is in there somewhere. Throw away. Yeah, I forget. There's something like that. Yeah. But I'm going to have a, a really great time. We uh, Every time that I go with uh, this group of friends that I'm going with, we always rent a house. Um, and I'm actually flying into Austin because I I used to live in Austin. I have family in Austin. Uh, and it's in San Antonio is the convention. And I'm going to pick up a car from my family. I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of equipment. We're going to have a house party. Um, 
It's going to be a really fun weekend. Um, wow. Yeah. Now, will, will you be back in a week for the uh, our regular show? Yep. Okay. Yep, I'll be back on okay. Tuesday. I'll be back for for Before You Buy, so... Okay. Uh, so, uh, I'd like video of you picking up that car, because I, I never think of you as like a Herculean uh, kind of person. You know, when a baby I, gets stuck underneath, and nothing, a mother's love can conquer anything, so... Basically, you know, if my phone gets under there, my mother's, you know, love. Will Your mother's going to come pick up the car yeah, exactly. so, you, <laughs> so you can get it. Exactly. Yeah, it's my mother's car. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going off to this uh, convention that I'm really excited about. Um, uh, tomorrow. Gosh, I can't believe it's here. So, yeah, I yeah. am. Well, did you have any anything happen this last week? Anything uh, no, nothing Not really. thrilling. Um, but we are going to, th this week and next week, we'll, we'll finish up the CES Perfect. stuff, which is kind of fun. And the first gadget, when I first saw it, I thought, you know, Wowie, the company Wowie makes all kinds of gadgets. Mm -hmm. they, they made these giant robots. I think they were called Robo Sapiens. I actually have one. They can they can kind of walk and carry cans of soda. And so at CES, I, I saw this kind of robot, and I was, you know, thinking another robot. And then I saw the RX robot, and I asked a guy about it, and I thought it was a fascinating use of robots. Ooh. Uh, so we can watch this little video and see what you think. Hey, we all no. love robots. You know, robots, they do great things. They pick up a can of soda and walk across the floor and hand it to you. Stick to Bartola, by the way. No robot. Living, living. Ooh, flesh. Uh, well, oh, I found retro. some robots here that do something very unique and very, very helpful. And we're going to have Mark here. Was it Mark? Mark, yeah, Mark, Mark is going to tell us about this guy and what he does. So our robot here is Medi, and Medi is actually a pain coach and a physical companion for children to accompany them during a medical procedure. The results published in the journal Vaccine using randomized control trials found that Medi reduces pain by 50% and was able to increase vaccination rates by 10%. So are there various programs depending on what the child is in the hospital for? Absolutely. So each medical procedure will have its own application and basically we choreograph that procedure and interact with the child during that procedure, tell them what to expect, how to cope with pain and to deal with the process as they go through and the isolation during a difficult procedure. And Mark, is this in use now in some hospitals? So the testing was done at Alberta Children's Hospital in Calgary, Alberta. Um, it is now being rolled out this month. Uh, four robots will be deployed at Alberta Children's Hospital, and they plan to use Medi to fundraise to buy another eight robots so they can deploy this in every one of the clinics within Alberta Children's Hospital. That is really a neat use for a robot. Ow! He gave me an injection. <laughs> Many. I'm shocked at you. But uh, it was enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't anyway, painful at all. Something really neat from robots. Half the pain. What's your RX Robots? R what's your website? Our website is rxrobots.com. It's just available now at CES. Prices range from fifteen to thirty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> we sell them directly to the hospitals. To hospitals. Okay. And uh, I don't have a medical plan that covers robots, but it's a lousy medical plan anyway. Okay, we'll find more stuff. Wow. They call that the Luddite plan. Um, <laughs> that is... So that's a clever idea, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, and uh, I saw one of the, the pap one of the research papers, and they found that they, the company that, that built the robot, they just had a robotic arm, which they decorated with, uh, like, eyes and things. And they found that when the robot... The robot was playing a game by himself and dropping cards. And when he would drop cards, kids in the room would say, oh, come on, pick it up. You can do that. You can do that. It's not that hard. And th they realized that the kids really enjoyed interacting to the robot that at that point was, was just an arm. Right. So they, they thought if we build something even more like a robot and, and uh, on their uh, own website, they have a, a little one minute video of what it's like with the robot in an actual situation. So, uh, Josh, we could roll that other video now. It's funny, I was looking at the arm, and it's like not, 
that big. <laughs> it's yeah, it's funny. Oh, you were having a medical test too. I just had one. I'll be here with you and we can do this together. Okay. <laughs> I know it feels a bit Do tight. I want to trust that Let's robot? Not. All you have to do is take a deep breath. Can make a fist? It feels okay, wet, doesn't it? Okay. A like a puppy licking your arm. We are done. done. This is way more fun when you do it with a friend. Okay. Give me five. Give me five thousand dollars. <laughs> Teach huh. the kid about the medical profession. I uh, don't know about this. You I don't. Is it too scary? It's or? just like why couldn't a person do that? Like why couldn't the nurse? be there for the child. The nurse is already there giving the injection. I know. I mean... Well, yeah, but the kid's, the kid's maybe, not going to like the nurse because the nurse is doing the... the right. Uh, the stabbing. Right. That's a good point. Is you, is you, have, you have an object that the kid can attach to... It, exactly. Right. So, like, the, the robot's not there to stab the kid or right. the, the robot's not, not right. there to take the pulse. Right. The right. robot's just there to, to uh, so that you have a friend in the room. Right, and, and, and TJ puts it well in the chat room to get the kid's attention. So that the, so basically the kid is not fixating on the pain. The that's procedure. About right. right, yeah. Right, they're checking out this crazy robot that is in the room telling them about what's going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 am, I am fascinated by it. it there, and you can also tell that this is the first... Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is the first iteration. Uh, like some of the voice stuff was a little, you know, herky yes. jerky. Yes, um, I think they all. I think he said they had like two, and they're going to build eight more. But I think down the line, and I think right now each robot is programmed for one procedure. But you can see down the line where, you know, fifteen or twenty years. The robot will be Bluetooth enabled. Mm. As the as the kid comes in, they'll 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 send what the child is in there for to I mean, the robot. What I'm imagining what? is that it doesn't look it doesn't look like a plastic, like athletic robot, like kind of how it looks now. It looks like a teddy bear. Like imagine oh, that. Oh, that's good. That's, you know, that's good. I could totally see that the next step is to really make you know and maybe make it even more of a of a companion then you walk in the room and she was like what the heck is this robot maybe you could come to the waiting room walk to the waiting room pick up the child deliver the child walk the child through it and then say goodbye thanks for your procedure you know i could really see where this is going and could understand how that would be such an experience that it would really take away from the trauma of medical yeah, uh, procedure yeah exactly exactly and then that, that's why i like this because it's like the first step and you can, as we were just talking, we can see where this can, you know, can go. Right. Yeah. Right. So it'll go to the place where there will be no more doctors. Be <laughs> just Dr. Robot. You know, I, I mean, <laughs> that's a very, you know, I could totally see that happening at one point in the future. That that a lot of the medical procedure stuff is all data. I mean, you can you can basically ask the patient for symptoms, plug it into a tablet, and then have the tablet tell you what the the diagnosis is it could be you, you know, know you go in and you'll say you know my child's here for a shot and and uh, they'll say no your your child got the shot the the elevator operator was really a robot and right. on the way up right <laughs> when your child least expected it right it got its shots <laughs> yeah exactly Inter it's really interesting it's interesting isn't it's it? super yeah. interesting it really does open your brain to, to really think about robots in the medical field i've i've heard of that before but it never really hit me what it could be used for and and that's that's really that great find that's a really neat yeah, thing that's, that's um, a fun thing to, to to find yeah and then you look back at that and then you look at wowie at the balancing robots and uh you kind of think yeah maybe there's something else uh, that could be done you they know, can do absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah Great. Okay, cool. Gadget number okay. two. Gadget number two is uh, a gadget I found last year, and uh, I might have done it with Leo. I can't remember. Maybe it was with you. Uh, but there was one complaint about it, and at CES they introduced a new version which addresses that complaint. Do you remember Charger Leash? 
No. Uh, okay. Charge your leash plugs into your phone mm -hmm. uh, to charge it. And, you know, that there's uh, an Android version with a micro USB and an Apple version. And the object is here is at the hotel. You're running around and you're late for your plane and you're packing and you unplug your phone, but you leave the charger plugged in. So when you unplug your phone and you leave the charger plugged in, the charger starts saying, hey, you left me you left in me the back. outlet. Got yes, it. exactly. Okay. So the thing I didn't like about it was if you were just taking your phone for the day, you had to unplug the charger and plug it back in again to silence the alarm. So now the new version, which they introduced at CES, you just touch the case anywhere. It silences the alarm. And the next time you plug your phone in, it arms itself again. Got it. But I think a really neat use for this, and I was watching at, at CES, <laughs> at, at, on the way out to CES, where at the airport, 90 people are around the, the two or three outlets oh. there are. So if you Security. are sitting a few feet away from your phone and you were the only person using charger leash, you would know when someone unplugged your phone because the alarm would go off. So yeah. it could be it could be a little safety uh buffer in in that regard uh depending on the model and the length of the cable and some other things they started about twenty dollars and uh, i i know uh our man uh josh is there josh can if you could just go to charge a leash and uh under products it, there's a thing called two for one that i'm bomb uh our products click on that and then at the very bottom, two for one. This is a new thing, and they didn't give me an actual date for this. So if you have both an iOS gadget and an Android gadget, they're coming out with the Alarm series, but the cable terminates in an adapter cable that has both a lightning connector and the micro USB connector. And that's also, yeah, that's great for, you know, for someone like me who has so many different gadgets. <laughs> Mul the, multiple know, gadgets. Yeah, exactly. One thing will charge with one, with one thing, and then my iPhone is the only thing that uses the lightning connector. Um, yeah, that's neat. Um, yeah, the skeptical so part of me is like, do I, is that really that big? Do I leave my cable around that much? Could I buy two cables? Could I buy a backup cable oh, for the that price? Oh, that could be. Okay. Um, okay. You know. okay. Yeah. But um, uh, I like the security aspect of... Uh, I like the security aspect, too. Especially in a, in a, in a, if, if you, you know, at Starbucks and stuff, you charge it and then, you know, don't pay attention to who's unplugging it for you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, all right, so that's uh, the Pro model is the one with the snooze button. And the two-in-one charger leash device is the one that's going to have the new cable that's both uh, micro USB and lightning connector. And there, everything is at chargerleash.com. Cool. Uh, okay. Awesome. We're just running through the products. We're What's running next? through the. We're running Pushow. through the stuff. We're, we're going to get you to the airport <laughs> in, <laughs> in plenty of time. Our third gadget is um, a neat thing. I don't know if you've noticed this, but when this guy started talking about this product, it suddenly dawned on me that years ago, everybody on the street who was on a phone had the earpiece in, the wireless Bluetooth earpiece in, even if they weren't talking. Yep. They were, was, it was know, like... It was very, you know it was very... Who. Yeah, yes, it was very trendy when they first came out. Hey. I'm wearing a Bluetooth headset. I can I'm not afford this yeah, headset. Yeah, yeah. I might take I'm a not... call at any time. Any time. Any time. Any time. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm prepared. Uh, so, so this company, and, and I kind of like the idea. I think it's two guys who started the company, and they were thrilled that I was able to do something with it. Uh, so I told them I used it here on Twit, and I, I did it on ABC. I think it's a clever idea at a reasonable price. So let's run uh, the third video. Still at Showstoppers, Padre's finding all the high-tech stuff. Carson, our producer, said, find something low-tech. Well, I found something low-tech. You know, on Gizwiz, we play What the Heck Is It? Now, what the heck is this? Uh. I bet you can't guess. It actually is something very useful. 
and very, very inexpensive. Looks like a tiny shoe. So let's oh, good. That's walk a good up guess. here and tell me your name, sir. My name is David Hurwitz. <laughs> okay. David, what that is, is correct. this now? This is a blue bed headset holster. Blue bed headset holster. Yeah, okay. Headset holster. It provides a handy home for your Bluetooth headset that's always on your body so that you can grab your headset on an instant's notice. It's always there, and you don't have to keep the headset in your ear. Okay, and you don't have to dig through your backpack. You don't your... have to dig through your backpack, and you don't have to leave that headset in your ear for a moment longer than the call. As soon as a call is done, take that headset out of the ear and put it to bed in the blue bed. Are you wearing one? I'm wearing one right now. Okay. Here's my blue bed, and when I get a call, I do the quick draw. And I the quick it, draw. Quick draw, I put in my ear, and I'm doing the call. And as soon as the call's done, I say, hey, great talking with you. Talk to you later. I take it out, and I put it to bed. Okay, it, now does it, uh, is it comes in green? It comes in... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, this one is white. That one's white. So in the, in the box, we have a box right here. In the box, there are three what we call bed covers, black, white, and, green, and blue. That's actually a blue. Okay. And those are interchangeable. You can just pop those off and pop them on. Oh, I see. No, no stick them or anything. You just... Yeah. I'm looking back here. That's right. So that, so that you can match it up to what you're wearing for that day. Now, I, as a guy, I tend to always have the black bed cover on here, but especially for the ladies, they might want the, the robin egg blue bed cover or they might want the white bed cover. Okay, and now the final thing is the cost. $19.95. And is it out now? It's out now. It was launched today. It's available at bluebed.com. B-L-U-B-E-D, bluebed.com. Okay, so it's low tech, but it's pretty nifty. Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, at Showstoppers. I don't know, Dickie D. No, no, is this not you? No. Not it at all. It does not make you look any less of a dork if you have oh, well, you're not gonna a see holster it. for your Bluetooth <laughs> headset. Well, I'm assuming now now see, I didn't know that he had one on because it's down yes. at belt level. Yes. So okay. If okay. you have <laughs> quick drama grab headset on. Quick <laughs> headset back. Um you might like that better. Well, wait a minute. You could put a string on it. I could put... I could, you could put a string. Listen to uh -huh. this. Just okay, listen okay. to this. Okay. Okay. String on the blue bed. String to the side of the wireless Bluetooth headset. Okay. And then this will take a little bit of training on your part. When the phone rings, you go, whap! Watch out! And the thing right I could, up. I could, where's your... And then it's there like, you go. There it's you like go. one right of those the, old wooden toys that you... you, you, you just, yes, you, but you right swim. into the ear. Right into the right ear. Right into the ear. You finally yeah, solved the problem of it being dorky. Uh, yes. There you go. That you is go. cool. That is it has, cool. It has gone from dorky to entertaining. Mm -hmm. And skillful. To, and skillful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you can still change the colors to match whatever and you And you can wear. still change. Yes. Yeah, you'll say, now do you want to see me do it with, with a blue one? Yeah. Now, <laughs> right. Right. How much would you pay to see me do it with a black one? Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, I don't know Okay, if, no, that's okay. You don't have to like everything. It's mostly, it's also just a $20. If it well, if, yeah. Well, go ahead. Mm -hmm. My, my guess know. is that when it gets on Amazon, yeah, it'll when it gets come to market, down something. It'll yeah, down. yeah. Okay. Now, I always feel that, that, you know, if the guy had said like 30 no, I wouldn't even bother showing it. But yeah. I thought under 20 bucks, yeah. they have to make something. Yeah. Anyway, all right, so that's There might be the bit. person out there, they see that and they go... Finally, I have yes, to use a headset yes, for my job. Yes. It's required, and it's I have to put it in my pocket and keys and blah, blah, blah. There's probably someone out there going, I am so happy, so happy. No, that exists. You know, it's very funny because no matter how many times I would do, like, Regis or something or, or, or World is Now, sometimes I would say, it's, it's really... I'm not quite sure why anybody has it. And then you'll get three letters saying, what do you find that thing? I've been looking for that thing for years. That's the that's the perfect solution for my grandmother or whatever it is. Exactly. So, yeah. So the, hopefully there's enough people around that uh, these guys can get their money, make their money back. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So come up next. Before we go to the most amazing part of the show... We have to thank our wonderful sponsor for this episode, Audible.com. Do you you know about Audible, right? I I'm a, I am a, a Prime member. Me too. I adore Audible. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks 
If you're a fan of audiobooks, look no further than audible.com. And even if you have never tried audiobooks before, you have to. It is one of the best ways to entertain yourself on long drives, while doing chores around the house, while going out to the gym. It's You could get basically a college education while going to the gym, better yourself in two ways, kill two birds with one stone with Audible. Dot com. I'm, I'm currently actually doing basically just that. I am bettering myself with audible.com. What I'm listening to right now is part of the Great Courses series, uh, How Stock Markets Work. Uh, this is the, the book that I want to talk about today. I'm also listening to Streams of Silver, which is uh, the fourth book in Drizzt de Orden. So anyway, How Stock Markets Work, this is from a, a professor, and this is fascinating. I've never invested in the stock market. I've always wanted to know... Uh, make it just basically less scary for me, understand kind of what you're getting into, and give myself just a little bit of a brain on all of it. You know, what, is, what does it mean to sh uh, short a stock? What does it mean, you know, wh when the market is up, market's down? Uh, you know, what are some of the base statistics? Just make myself not scared about investing. And this was a really, really great course. This is from the Great Courses series. It's not quite an audiobook, but it is available on audible.com. They have everything, periodicals, fiction, nonfiction, I mean, and just all sorts of these, this Great Courses series as well. For listeners of the Gizwiz, guess what? You get a free book. You just get to take what? the book home for free. You just sign up with audible.com slash gizwiz. And you can, they can give you a book. Test it out. Go find something that you have been wanting to learn and, uh, and listening to it in audio form. It's just so, so, so easy. And now with smartphones, you can listen to it on your smartphone. It just goes straight to your phone. Throw in your headphones. It is, uh, seriously, uh, if, if you have never, ever enjoyed uh, audiobooks, please sign up for audible.com. Uh, and then uh, once you do that, uh, you'll uh, once you sign up for the service, you'll get one credit. You'll get a credit every single month, and most books are just that single credit. So get your free book at audible.com slash gizwiz. That's audible.com slash gizwiz. And we thank Audible for their support of the gizwiz. Thank you, Audible. Yes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, while he ducks behind the magic drape, you know Let's you hear don't the need theme. It, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. No, oh my get it. God. Oh, it's oh, so big. Wow. It's oh, my humongous. Word. Oh, gosh. Oh. Okay, so we are in Whoa. multifunction month. Uh, mm -hmm. Today we have kind of a small multifunction um, device for you. I, did you know that I was a I'm, I'm I was a Boy Scout? I went I was I I would believe you were. I I, I was uh, uh, I went all the way to Eagle Scout, so I'm I'm an Eagle Scout. Wow! Um, and I remember using these in. You in were the scouting. only one that I got the stock market badge, as I recall. <laughs> yes, I got that investing badge. It was that pretty lucrative. Badge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty pretty nice. Um, so what this is, this is from, uh, from I believe it's the Swiss Army. No, it's not. It just has that symbol on it. Um, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> pretty simple. It is... Oh, it is Vic Victoria Knox. Victoria Knox. I thought that was the, yeah. the Swiss Army knife creator, but uh, for some reason that threw me off. Um, uh, but anyway, so uh, instead of a, a knife, like a multifunction knife, this is more of a credit card styled or sized um, device that has multifunctional uh, mm. items in here. Of course, uh, with a Swiss Army knife, you are going to have a knife. And here we can we can take some paper okay. here. Let's see how sharp this thing is. I don't I don't think it. You know, because it has a knife. Does it does it say TSA approved or? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Hey, it cuts this paper pretty well. Wow. Um, Let's see if there's anything in... Because you, you're allowed to bring a certain sized yes, knife. Yes, I think it's a three-inch blade. This is definitely less than three inches. This is like... So that might be... Might maybe be an inch and a half blade. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so... Say again? I can use the device. Oh, it has a it has a ruler oh. on it. Here we go. Okay, uh, it is. It's yeah, just about three and a half. Yeah, three and a half inches or one and a half. One and a half. One and a half. I don't know what oh, I was okay. saying. I, I was mixed up by the TSA's regulation. Yeah, one and a half inches. 
Okay, uh, that's good. Knife. That's good. And so you that's could good. whittle something, I guess. This is kind of a tiny yeah. thing. But, um, but yeah, that fits right in there. You also have uh, some scissors in here. We'll bring back this paper here. Let's cut this paper. This paper is just going to be cut to shreds. So if you need to, you can get a little bit more accurate with uh, some scissor cutting. There you go. Okay. It has scissors. It slices. It dices. And it also writes. Will it core a apple? It might core an apple. So this is a little pin. Bring back the paper. This poor paper is getting all destroyed. Oh, wow. So okay. That sign. works. Nice. Oh, go. my goodness. Perfect. There's that. Uh, it's blue, blue ink. Uh, next, of course, if you're out camping or, uh, you know, you maybe you're, you're a weekend warrior, I'm not sure. Uh, toothpick. If you need, oops, sorry about that. Uh, toothpick. So you Okay, can you're not going to demo that. Mm -hmm. No, okay, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, next, uh, this one I've actually used many times when camping, uh, tweezers. So if you get stuck with a splinter or um, get something, you know, in your hand, uh, tweezers are kind of something that you don't think about, but having them with you, super duper useful. So it comes with a pair of tweezers right back in there. And then finally, a nail file right here, uh, you know, just in case you need to do some of oh, yeah, these mani petties uh, while on the road. Um, but it also, this is also a, a little screwdriver. So if you have a oh, flathead screw, wow. you can go ahead and get that out of there as wow. well. Now on the back, uh, it also has, as we showed off, a little bit of a ruler. And yeah. And then Jeff wants it. Why do you want it, Jeff? Yeah. You know what? You One know, I, I just looked on Amazon. Uh-huh. So tell me what you think this is. Victoria Swiss Cod, 1995 to $12,995. Josh, can you go to, to Amazon? I see that. <laughs> what? We'll zoom in on that. What? You know, it's now, made in Switzerland. Like, what? You, you know what? You know what? Is there I thought it was one out of like diamonds? No, uh, only because I think they also make them with like 128 gigabyte uh, memory cards in them. Because I remember seeing them at CES one year and they were like over $1,000. $13,000 though? But, but I know, but when you hit the drop down menu, it shows garbage. Hit that drop down menu again. What is that? Yeah. Three one thirteen quote. I don't know here. When we're zooming in. Uh, so so did you pay? Did you <laughs> wait a minute? It just went up to twenty three dollars. Yeah, and then one size is this is blue, and then O S. This, this is all over so the place. Confusing. I want to fit. I want to find that twenty three thousand dollar. No no oh. This, well, well, uh, no. What did you pay for yours? Or what did Jeff pay for his? $20. $20, okay. $40 for the blue one. I'm, that is so, so, so confusing. Um, you know what? The blue one looks like it has more stuff in it, doesn't it? You know, it's funny. That blue one has a light on it. Here, can I... Um, yeah, you see there are different models. There definitely the thing is, are. And what's right. funny is the instructions for this one are actually for a different model that has this, like, That's what I was thing. Oh, oh, interesting. And this one doesn't do that. The pink one has. The pink one does that, Josh but... So, yeah. Swiss card. This is the classic, classic That's the, cl the classic. That's how we know. Swiss card. So the that's the $20 one. Okay. Right. I mean, I guess the question would be, will this fit in your wallet? If someone who can't have, um, I should probably cover that up here. There we go. Uh, I just need the security code. I got the number. Right. Uh, 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 I got the, okay. Uh, oh, and there's the security code. Okay, thanks. Uh, no, it'll, I'm going to order the $25,000 one. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Okay, here, no. Jeff is going to try it in his wallet. You know what? You have to take the little knife and, and slit your wallet at the edge. That's why they so give you the knife. It, it can stick out. Right. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, interesting. It fits in his wallet. Oh, yeah. Can you yeah, close your wallet? wallet? Yeah, it does. Closes. Yeah. yeah. It's our, he has the, the largest, thickest wallet. It must be <laughs> like five inches thick. Uh, yeah. It has every gadget we've shown since he was started producing the show is in it. Oh, yeah, there it is. And there it is. Don't right. the I don't know. if We might have to go back through the through the archives and make sure. Yeah, it, it works. It works. Wow. Anyway, um, so... Uh, you know, he, he has a lot of pull with American Express. I don't know if you noticed. His, his card number was one. Was zero. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, was one. just one. It was one. Um, yeah. So that is the Swiss Army Knife uh, Swiss Card Classic Edition in beautiful red. Um, don't be fooled. Pay nineteen ninety five. No, only pay not twenty dollars for this. Not not twelve thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. Right, right. Um, yeah, perfect. That's that's just about it. So let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. What do you got for us this week? Uh, we have a, a, a viewer video. We have a couple. So we have one for this week and one for next week. And I'll tell you how to get yours in. Uh, so let's look at Isaac Furtiv, uh, F-E-R-T-I-G, his video, which is a combination of a warehouse, my favorite gadget video. Isaac here from Duluth, Minnesota. I'm introducing my favorite, uh, one of my favorite gadgets of all time, the HD Home Run Dual HDTV uh, digital adapter. The HD Home Run Dual converts the HDTV signal into a network stream able to broadcast two network streams simultaneously to a PC or some other sort of media streaming device. Wow. I never saw this, did you? No, I've never the, seen uh, this. HD Dual uh, comes in on here, and then we have it going over to the switch here, which then connects to our wireless router, which is in another room. Uh, that's why we have the patch panel here. And then everyone can use it over a wire, which is required for the dual tuning. If you tune in one signal station, you only need uh, to have a wireless adapter, but for dual tuning, you'll need a wired adapter. Well, here I am up in the attic here, um, as you can tell with the insulation and everything here. This is the actual device. And you can see it's just a I guess it's windy up there. Yeah. yeah. Pretty Our finger was on the mic. Um, and pretty small. We just have it plugged into this antenna, which That's is about an antenna 20, I use. 25 feet in the air. And uh, this is why I got the good signal. We're about 15 miles from town. And uh, down here, we just have a little Ethernet box switch. And that goes downstairs to the, uh, the box we saw downstairs. On the second part of this operation is uh, on the client side. Here you can see the uh, software that comes with it to set it up. And as you can see, we get a 100% signal. So what you do is you... Uh, you can uh, choose your set, uh, uh, channel here. There's an included application, which you can also use to tune channels. Once you got it tuned in, you just simply click the view button and it opens up in VSC. And as you can see, it plays it over a uh, network connection and it works, works great. So that's why I recommend it. It's my, uh, one of my favorite gadgets of all time. Thanks. Bye. That is really neat. So it converts. You know what? Uh, yeah, say it again. So he's converting over the air right. signal. Right. He's converting over the air signal into uh, a network signal that you could use on almost any computer. Any computer can take in that network signal. Like any computer with uh, VLC installed will be able to uh, tap into that sort of video cast. Um, that is really neat, and the uh, wow, that is really cool. And so the software would most likely uh, allow you to change the channel and stuff through uh, wirelessly. Oh, right. And so if you wanted to go to a different channel, and then the stream would change, is what I assume. 
uh, HDTV is already digital, so it's really all it's doing is just it's a tuner and a um, and and a Dis streamer distributor. Yeah, a distributor. <laughs> right. uh, yeah. yeah, that is really really <coughs> neat. Um, I did not know that you could do that. Oh, it's great. It, and Jeff is saying it's great. I mean that that is great because. I'm, I, I never, it would be great to watch TV on my laptop sitting in bed, you know, over Wi-Fi. That, it, now, did, did, did he say 15 miles? Did you hear that? So what he was saying was his... Was 15 miles from yeah, the from biggest the, town? Yeah, and it's kind of a misconception that you can just put antenna up in the air and it'll capture the, uh, the you know, whatever's in the air. It's much better to have the type of um, antenna that he had, which is very directional. And so what he did was he went up to the attic where you're not gonna have a lot of uh, interference with metal or water. And he and you, there's apps that you can get on your phone or you could go on online and get a map uh, that will tell you where the uh, towers are, where the, where the TV towers are. And then you can purpose, you can point the um, antenna towards that tower and, and that's what I actually do. Wouldn't you have to realign uh, it for different stations? You, yes. Sometimes that is true, oh. is that you'll have one tower behind you and another tower in front of you, and you'll have to choose. Um, a lot of times they will put the towers, they don't put the, they put the towers kind of all in one spot because one spot is zoned for them. Um, oh, okay. And so you normally don't have to worry too much about that, but, but that can happen. Like, let's say you live in between two large cities, one one city's gonna be behind you. One city's gonna be in front of you, or, or whatever. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's like I, I remember in Austin there were two. Uh, there was one for like San Marcos, and there was one for Austin, or something like that. And um, but yeah, but luckily where we were, I could point it and get basically all three towers in in a good general vicinity. And normally, antenna web antenna web org is apparently uh, where people are saying to go. Um, is click here to start my zip code and there we go and it's saying yep so basically straight north uh there are uh two towers way up there oh okay and it, and how many about how many miles does it show let's see uh it it says 30 miles nine 30 miles, miles six okay. miles 30 miles 19 and 29 for and then it'll tell me which stations. So, um, CRCB. Oh, that's PBS. Okay, that's their that's their channel code. So there's PBS on on one of those. And then you can see if you know if I move this over to Sausalito. Oh, I got yeah, yeah. Uh, you're gonna get a lot more from uh, that big tower over there, and you can get PBS, ABC, NBC, CW. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of different. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I've, I've used this before um, to make sure that you point your antenna in the right direction. That is a really good gadget. Great video. Yeah, Isaac, uh, thank you, Isaac. You'll get a uh, Mad Magazine, an Alfred E. Newman picture, a piece of crap from the warehouse. Obviously, it's not going to be the... Uh, the, the Swiss uh, Army Vic, knife? Victoria Knacks uh, card oh, no. because Jeff has a... I don't think anything has ever left the brick house since oh Jeff gosh, became no. producer. With the soaps. If anyone just didn't so, choose just, the soaps, you know, we still have four soaps, Jeff is, in, uh, just, is telling me. Just so You might right. get some potato chip smelling soaps. Uh, You're right. They're right. <clears throat> yeah. So we, uh, we have one video left, but we need more, okay? Uh, we do have another uh, multi-purpose video for next week, uh, but we need more. So send your videos to gizwiz at twit.tv. Basically, the video you just saw was like two and a half minutes. So a two and a half minute video with uh i invented this my favorite gadget like that was isaac's favorite gadget uh we love if you have a gadget sitting in a drawer somewhere or down in the basement that for some reason you can't throw it out those are our favorites because it turns out when you talk about them uh everybody goes oh i have that too i love that i wish i had that i wish mom didn't throw that out um so or i bought a piece of crap so make a two or three minute video, three minute tops, put it on YouTube, send Jeff Needles the link, and he will send it on to us, gizwiz at twit.tv. 
Perfect, and now let's move on to the letter. Now, Ken Owens writes, um, how was CES this year? This is to me. I know you go every year. What's the one item that stood out from the rest as something you just have to have? Ooh, Ken Owens. Well, you know what? I would love to have an OLED big screen TV. Ooh. They are like knockout amazing. Super thin. Super super expensive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But the other thing is, in reality, half, at least half my TV watching is all black and white movies. <laughs> so I, I, I did, I said, I said to the guy, you know, I watch a lot of old black and white movies. He and he said, they're not gonna look very good on this. You know, <laughs> Well. They they can do upscaling, but if it's really old and if the station hasn't digitized it, it's going to be a mess. You yeah. Know? Otherwise, you'll have a giant screen TV in the very center. Mm -hmm. You'll have a little black and white, very clear picture, but a little a little yeah. black and white. Or, or yeah. a really stretched out, super fuzzy image. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. And it, there, are, there are lots of things that, I want but don't need, you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago we, we showed the new Lenovo uh, notebook computers that are coming out that are, that are made out of a, some carbonite uh, substance. They're a pound lighter than the uh, iPod Air and I'd love to have one of those but I don't have a real need for it. One of the great things about testing gadgets is the loan period, you show it off. You get all the all the oohs and ahs and jealousy from your friends, right. and then you just put it in the box and you mail it back. You know, <laughs> we, we had that we had a little eight-inch Windows computer from uh, Lenovo called uh, Any Pen Technology, which was fun because they said, you know, it's a full Windows 8.1 machine, but if you have big fingers, basically you can use anything on the screen to. Drill down to in menus, pencils, the end of a ruler, uh, the the end of a scissors, rather anything metal or or, or graphite. So, so I want to show this uh, uh, at ABC, and they said, you know, we have two of them. We you can have it for seven days, right? And that was fine. You know, take it up to Mad. Look at all I got. Look at all. Oh, look, 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 look at this. Look, hey, give me yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, you mail it back. Yep. So you you get you get a lot of. Uh, it makes Owning it, lo you it look like you have you, you, the coolest Yes. Stuff. You <laughs> look like you're better than the Robinsons. Yes, exactly. But really, you know. Exactly. Still eating exactly. those microwavable dinners at night. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's, you're, you're absolutely right. You're right. Absolutely. Right. Perfect. Anyway, so Ken Owens, thank you for asking. Perfect. Um, now, uh, before we move on, next week is the last week of the month. And we would like the results from uh, oh. our, so we're going to go ahead and uh, mention, if you want to vote for what My Crappy Corner theme will be for the month of February, you can head on over to twit.to slash omgcrapfeb15. Omgcrapfeb15. Twit.to slash omgcrapfeb15. Uh, and it'll take you to this straw poll. Uh, we have a few different categories. We have power, so batteries, chargers, uh, maybe you know self-driven chargers. Uh, ah, okay. That sort of stuff. Okay. Um, right. Fitness, uh, which would, could be walking trackers or uh, ways to exercise, that sort of stuff. Trampolines. Or trampolines. Maybe, uh, you know, a steroids, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, survival, which would be uh, things that, you know, for emergency preparedness. So purifiers or flashlights or uh, emergency signaling uh, gadgets, that sort of thing. Uh, so those are our three options. Please go ahead and head over there. I'll say it one more time. 
twit.to slash omgcrapfeb for February 15 for the year 2015. Uh, we can check out the results, and Survival is running away with it. Whoa. At 70% of, of the... Oh, oh. Even more. Oh, my gosh. People you, can really... tell, you, you can tell what our audience thinks about fitness. Right. No, yeah. No, not, not so much. Only two votes. No, so, Only survival. Two votes for, there we go. Fitness. Survival. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, it might be fun to, like, go out and <laughs> go camping or something with some of these gadgets and put myself in stupid situations. Uh, that'd be really funny. Um, anyway, uh, please go over there and vote, and we will check on the results uh, next episode and figure out what our February gadget will be. Also, head on over to gizwiz.biz. That way you can check the show notes and all of the descriptions and links to all the things that we talked about in today's episode, but also play What the Heck Is It? We are playing this week, this month, these two months, bi-monthly, for this. What the heck is this? I really don't know. Um, good. That's good. It's a real gadget. Real gadget. Maybe if I could use the background. It looks like tile background. Like maybe it's a grouter. Like you put down grout and you use this to smear along the grout so that it has a perfect bead of grout. Wow. On wow. Your, your tub. It's a home you improvement You sound gadget. like, yeah, I was going to say, oh. I feel like I'm a, a, on the DIY channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. No, no, no. It's obviously no, a giant. It's obviously a giant version of the nail filer slash screwdriver that's in your credit yeah, card. Oh yeah, true. this is in that. This is in that uh, kit, the credit card kit that's bigger than a suitcase. Right, <laughs> right. That's, that's the one that's twelve thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. It's for the richest of the people, so their their true. wallets are much larger. You you that's, understand. That's, um, there are uh, twelve Mad Magazines for correct answers if you actually know what it is, but twenty four. So double your chance. If you have a funny, hilarious, or clever answer, so get over there and just have a fun time with it. Um, just guess away and, and uh, make us laugh. So that is over at gizwiz.biz. If you want to catch our show, you can do so live on Thursdays at around 4.30 Pacific time. It's about 7.30 uh, Eastern. We we'll, should be back on schedule next week. Uh, this was yep. a weird week. Um, but don't worry about any of that. You can just subscribe and have it hand-delivered to you by robots. Uh, that's at twit.tv slash gizwiz. Uh, so twit.tv slash gizwiz. That about wraps it up for this episode. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. Weekly